if you've been following the cryptocurrency market for a long time, you've definitely seen the pricing fluctuations between the various cryptocurrency markets and exchanges. Even Bitcoin, being the most liquid digital asset, trades at different values on different exchanges. Furthermore, you may have realized that these discrepancies offer significant arbitrage opportunities. However, it may not be as straightforward as it appears at first look. In today's video, let's take a closer look at how cryptocurrency arbitrage works and the trading techniques that employ it. What exactly is cryptocurrency arbitrage? Arbitrage in cryptocurrency is a method in which investors buy a cryptocurrency on one exchange and rapidly sell it on another for a greater price. Cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are traded on hundreds of different exchanges and the price of a currency or token may range from one exchange to another. This is when the traditional Wall Street approach of arbitrage comes into play. The phrase capturing the ARB refers to profiting from the fact that an asset is cheap in one market but expensive in another. Using crypto arbitrage, investors take advantage of the fact that a digital currency is trading at a lower price on one exchange by purchasing and selling it nearly instantly for a greater price on another. What are the different types of arbitrage out there? Investors can engage in crypto arbitrage in a variety of ways. We will talk about some of them which are the most commonly used. Spatial Arbitrage Trading virtual currencies between two separate exchange platforms are referred to as spatial arbitrage. Spatial arbitrage is a simple method of doing crypto arbitrage. While this is a straightforward strategy for exploiting price differences, spatial arbitrage exposes traders to risks such as transfer times and costs. Spatial arbitrage without transfer some traders attempt to minimize the risks associated with transfer costs and time that spatial arbitrage presents. In a hypothetical situation, they would go long Bitcoin on one exchange and short Bitcoin on another, then wait for the prices on the two exchanges to converge. This saves them from having to move coins and tokens from one platform to another. Trading costs, however, may still apply. Triangular Arbitrage Triangular arbitrage utilizes pricing inefficiencies between multiple pairs of cryptocurrencies traded on the same exchange. In this approach, an investor begins with one cryptocurrency and then trades it in at the same exchange for another undervalued cryptocurrency compared to the first. The investor would then exchange the second coin for a third cryptocurrency that is much overvalued in comparison to the first. Finally, the investor would exchange the third cryptocurrency for the first coin, completing the circuit slightly richer. Decentralized Arbitrage This is a popular arbitrage opportunity on decentralized exchanges or automated market makers, which determine the price of crypto trading pairs using automated and decentralized programs known as smart contracts. Arbitrage traders can rush in and execute cross-exchange deals between the decentralized exchange and a centralized exchange if the prices of crypto trading pairs diverge significantly from their spot values on centralized exchanges. Statistical Arbitrage This uses a combination of econometric, statistical, and computational tools to perform arbitrage trades on a large scale. This strategy is frequently used by traders that rely on mathematical models and trading bots to perform high-frequency arbitrage trades and maximize profit. Trading bots are automated trading processes that perform a large number of deals in a short period of time using established trading strategies. What makes crypto arbitrage a low-risk strategy? You may have realized that, unlike day traders, People who trade crypto arbitrage do not have to predict future Bitcoin prices or enter transactions that can take days to generate gains. Traders base their decisions on the assumption of obtaining a set profit by recognizing and capitalizing on arbitrage opportunities, rather than evaluating market sentiments or relying on other predictive pricing methods. Furthermore, depending on the resources that are available to traders, arbitrage trades can be entered and exited in seconds. With this in mind, we can say that crypto arbitrage trading involves less risks than conventional trading tactics because it does not require predictive analysis. Arbitrage traders must only make trades that last a few minutes at most, reducing their exposure to trading risk dramatically. However, this does not necessarily imply that crypto arbitragers are risk-free. There's always a certain inevitable amount of risk in trading. Now let's talk about why crypto arbitrage may be profitable. There are numerous reasons why you should pursue crypto arbitrage. 
Firstly, quick gains. If everything goes as planned, it is a viable approach to building your capital. At the same time, it is all about speed, so you can make money faster than you would with traditional trading. There are numerous opportunities. There are more than 200 exchanges where you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies, implying several potential for successful arbitrage. Cryptocurrency markets are still in their infancy and are highly volatile. As a result, most exchanges do not share information and operate independently. Most cryptocurrencies endure frequent dramatic spikes and drops, resulting in price discrepancies and attractive arbitrage opportunities. When compared to traditional marketplaces, there is less competition. Since not all arbitrage traders are prepared to take a gamble on cryptocurrencies, the crypto space is less competitive. Lastly, cryptocurrency price differences typically range from 3% to 5%, but can occasionally reach 30 to 50%, but that is only in extreme cases. How to profit from crypto arbitrage algorithmically. At first glance, cryptocurrency arbitrage appears to be as simple as looking for price differences between exchanges and then executing a buy and sell. In 2017, for example, the price of Bitcoin on Kraken was $17,212, but just $16,979 on Bitstamp, giving an arbitrage opportunity. In that case, an investor may make $233 per Bitcoin by purchasing them on Bitstamp and quickly selling them on Kraken. Although Bitcoin spreads aren't always as wide as in the example we gave, there are times when other, less well-known forms of cryptocurrencies could offer even wider gaps. Because Bitcoin prices vary from exchange to exchange, arbitrage possibilities might arise, with thousands of cryptocurrencies trading on hundreds of exchanges for cryptocurrency investors. There are several apps available for download that will follow the rates of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies in search of arbitrage possibilities. This allows investors to take advantage of algorithms that automatically search for arbitrage across many cryptocurrency exchanges. This automated strategy may enable crypto arbitrage traders to profit from a variety of price differences. Where can I find a crypto arbitrage? When it comes to arbitrage, not all cryptocurrency digital assets are created equal. Bitcoin, for example, has grown in popularity. As a result, there are fewer Bitcoin arbitrage chances. However, other than investing in Bitcoin, there are alternative ways to participate in crypto arbitrage. Method 1. Use a new software. Finding those opportunities can be difficult with so many different cryptocurrencies on so many exchanges. As a result, many traders employ software systems that monitor hundreds of Bitcoin exchanges in real time. An increasing number of businesses specialize in software to automate crypto arbitrage. Some businesses provide a platform that allows investors to select an automated arbitrage strategy and execute it across multiple exchanges. Method 2. Unpopular Cryptocurrencies Investors can find wider price spreads for the same cryptocurrency digital assets by investing in less popular, less often traded kinds of crypto. However, because they are less popular, these coins are subject to significant price changes. Volatility can either be good or bad news, but it introduces a new level of risk. What are the risks of cryptocurrency arbitrage? Losses to be successful in crypto arbitrage, investors must execute trades fast in order to capitalize on cryptocurrency price disparities between exchanges while such differences are still profitable. A trader must be careful not to boost the purchase price and decrease the selling price of a crypto asset by their own trades in the thinly traded kinds of crypto that offer the widest spreads. Volume Crypto exchanges all work in the same way, pricing crypto depending on the most recent trade on that exchange. However, it is vital to understand that not all transactions are made equal. Some have massive trade volumes, while others are less active. The trading volume on each exchange influences liquidity and accessible pricing on that exchange. Low volume may indicate that the exchange is unable to execute a large enough trade to deliver the profit that an investor is expecting. Low volume could also indicate that the trade is feasible but will take too long to capitalize on the pricing opportunity. Transaction Fees Simultaneously, traders must keep a watch on the transaction fees associated with purchasing cryptocurrencies across trading platforms. These fees continue to fluctuate as the cryptocurrency markets expand, depending from exchange to exchange. Fraud and Hacking 
One of the most important things to understand before investing in cryptocurrency is that it is highly unregulated. As a result, they are more vulnerable to hackers, fraud, and monetary collapse. As a result, investors are concerned about securely storing their cryptocurrency. Taxes In the United States, where cryptocurrency usage has soared in recent years, the Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, has issued a tax guide that classifies cryptocurrencies as property. The Securities and Exchange Commission has classified cryptocurrencies as a type of securities, while the Commodity Futures Trading Commission has classified them as a type of commodity. The IRS treats cryptocurrency profits in the same way as it does property gains. Keeping that in mind, investors must account for any capital gains taxes on their federal income tax return, but they may also be eligible to deduct losses. The Bottom Line Arbitrage exists in all financial markets, including stocks, bonds, and commodities, where the same item trades for different prices in different locations. Because cryptocurrencies are digital and not based on an underlying asset, they are more difficult to evaluate and do not follow the same price rules as stocks and bonds, which are related to the performance of a firm, municipality, or nation. Arbitrage tactics can even be more intricate than cryptocurrency. However, the activity is lawful and has the potential to yield significant benefits with risks involved, of course. When considering crypto arbitrage, investors should conduct their own research, including looking at various lesser-known cryptocurrencies and accessible software to follow cryptocurrency exchanges in real time. This video should have taught you what cryptocurrency arbitrage is and how to do it. Remember that cryptocurrency trading is extremely risky, and you should never put money at risk that you cannot afford to lose. After all, you must accept responsibility for your decisions and research. And that's it for today's video. If you watched till the end, make sure to let us know by leaving a comment down below, hitting the like button, and subscribing to the channel. Make sure to switch on the notifications, and we will see you next time. Bye!